There's your black walnut and black Angus cattle. Say 15 medium sized walnut trees in here. I cut one of them down. So, typical logger would come in, cut that tree right in the middle. They'd cut that. They'd cut that one. They'd cut that one right in the middle, not the one with the red. Um, they'd actually cut that one too. Um, these aren't mature trees. They don't need to be cut down. The only tree in here that, other than the one I've already cut, needs to be cut, potentially, is that one right there. And the reason I say that is because there's a bunch of dead branches all throughout it. The canopy's struggling. You know, don't get me wrong, it's still a living tree. It could last another 10 years, but I will say there's ants in it. Um, I'll post some videos of what ants look like in slabs slash trees. You see it like every tree I cut because it's the only tree I cut are ants and uh, declining trees. And ants do that. So that's the next one I'm gonna slice up. I want it to fall in between that tree and that tree. As you can see, I only had to take one tree out to harvest that bad boy over there. Um, most of the time people come in with equipment, they'd bring a skidster in here. They would push anything out of the way. And this is a forest. There, there are creatures that um, have been living here longer than us. So kind of be respectful of the land and kind of uh, watch out for turtles and stuff like that. So it's kind of what, all, what I'm about, minimal land impact, logging, and this isn't taking all the walnut trees on the property. I only like cutting trees down that uh, have insect infestation and they're in decline. That tree's a beautiful tree. It does not need to be cut. <clears throat> That's what happens is you all leave this property. You might end up selling this tree to somebody else. I don't think that's the case. And they'd buy it. But I'd rather it stay and be harvested when it's mature in 20 years. There are ants in it, but it doesn't need to be sliced up yet. So I actually buy trees and leave them standing. If that's what it takes for it to stay there versus being cut up early, I'll give you the money for the tree. Cut it down in 10 years.